so good afternoon everyone and this is <clears throat> the lecture on the lens formula and the combination of lenses in the previous class we had seen the lens formula yes or no do we remember the lens formula we had seen the lens formula we had seen the sign convention of lenses we had seen the formula for lateral or transverse magnification we had seen the formula for longitudinal magnification aerial magnification and we had seen that mt square will come everywhere whether it is longitudinal magnification aerial magnification or whether it is the velocity of image and velocity of object remember velocity of image and velocity of object are always given with respect to the mirror or the lens do we understand this in today's class what we are going to do is we are going to see the next topic which is known as combination of lenses what do you mean by combination of lenses if two lenses are kept in contact then what will happen if you have two lenses which are kept in contact touching each other how you can solve that problem <clears throat> any idea if you have two lenses in contact so that is the first heading that we are going to do that is two lenses in contact the first heading is lenses in contact why oh, i have written it like that. so i have two lenses that are kept in contact now this combination still behaves like a lens this combination behaves like a lens do we understand this yes or no we put this on silent mode this combination behaves like a lens yes or no and you can find out the focal length of this combination in this fashion 1 by f the focal length of the combination will be equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 remember this f1 and f2 should be used with proper sign convention that means if one of the lens is convex one of the focal lens would be positive if the other lens is concave that focal length would be negative do we understand this if you want to write this formula in terms of power you can write it as power of lens 1 plus power of lens 2 will be the total power of the combination that you create this is the formula for lenses which are kept in contact with each other remember whenever we are talking about lenses we are talking about thin lenses not thick lenses i'll give you 2 minutes to note it down completed sir Have you noted this, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now there could be a case where 
the lenses are not in contact but they are at a distance d from each other i'll show you that case also and here comes that case i think it is there in your uh, module as well you can check it if i have this case uh, lenses at a small distance remember this distance has to be very small if that distance is not small the formula that we are going to that i am going to give you will not be valid remember it is only valid for a very small distance do we understand this yes or no in that case the formula becomes 1 by focal length of the combination will be 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus d by f1 f2 if you run to write in terms of power you can write it as p1 plus p2 minus d times p1 p2 that will be the formula that would be coming remember this d has to be very small if d is not very small how are you going to find it we are going to take first refraction from the first lens then we are going to take the second refraction from the second lens don't worry we will do that question as well and then you can find out the position of the final image I'll give you 2 minutes to note this down have you noted it down beta yes sir there is one more thing which is really asked but uh, since uh, it's a part of this thing now what they some sometime ask you what we are doing here is we are replacing these two lenses by a single lens do we understand this this is lens number 1 and this is lens number 2 what we are doing it is replacing these two lenses by a single lens yes or no they might also ask you what is the position of this lens where is this lens now when these two lenses are in contact this question doesn't arise because the lens will be where the two lenses are kept it does not make a difference when the two lenses are in contact but when the two lenses are at a distance d apart then they might also ask you where is this new lens that you have created where are you going to put that new lens so they might also ask you what is the position of this new lens if i write this point as p which is the position of this new lens oh let me not write it as p because uh, p is used everywhere let me all write this as n the position of the new lens this position of the new lens with respect to the older uh, with respect to the second lens is given by this formula remember the position of position of we call it equivalent lens with respect to the second lens when i say second lens that means the lens from which refraction happens the for the second time this formula is <clears throat> given by minus d into f divided by f1 just remember this if in any case they ask you this one so here i have imagined that if the object is kept here my dear friends the object is kept here in this question first lens is front wala the second lens is the back one then this would be the distance do we understand this minus sign indicates that it will be opposite to the direction of your incident ray i'll give you one minute to note this down
completed sir no sir डांसर ओके इफ यू आर डन देन यू कैन मूव ऑन एंड सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस अगेन आई एम टेकिंग दिस क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर मॉड्यूल इट सेल्फ इफ यू हैव द मॉड्यूल यू कैन यूज द मॉड्यूल सी द क्वेश्चन i'm just showing you the diagram and not the entire question because the entire question does not make sense only what makes sense is the diagram of this and this is how the question is you have to find out there is an object placed here in this question question number 1 there is an object placed the distance is given as uh, 10 cm the question asks you find out the magnification the lateral magnification but i will ask you everything find out the 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 equivalent focal length f find out the value of v where the image is formed and then find out the transverse magnification so find out all these three things first one by one and then so that you understand that whatever question comes it is basically a simple one so whatever question comes from this you have to find out the equivalent focal length and then you can move ahead i'll give you 3 minutes solve it if you are done let me know once everyone is done then we will discuss the same
Yes, my dear friends. Anyone with any answer? Sir, F is equal to plus twenty. F is plus twenty. Correct. Well done. Did you get the value of V? V minus twenty. V minus twenty. Absolutely correct. Magnification. Minus two, sir. Minus two or plus two? Think again. Plus two, sir. Remember, it is not a mirror; it is a lens. So the magnification is v by u. I have also given you the other formula. If you apply any of those formula, you will end up with the correct answer. Well done. What about the others? Have you got the same answer, everyone? Or you are still trying? Everyone is still trying. Completed, sir. Got the same answer? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let me then solve it and uh, get the answer. How are we going to solve it? Solution. So first of all, I will put the formula one by f will be equal to one by f one plus one by f two, and I will get. the focal length of the combination what is the focal length of the combination i am getting 1 by f will be equal to i think how much 20 1 by 20 1 by 20 plus 20 that means it becomes a convex lens straight away that is my first step done first step we move on to the second step i will apply the 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 lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f with proper sign what is the value of u my dear friends minus 10 10 with a minus sign what is the value of f f is 20 with a plus sign i put the values 1 by v minus 1 by minus 10 Is equal to one by twenty. I will not solve this for you because you will solve this yourself. Get the value of v and stay happy. V I think will come as minus twenty centimeters. Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes, sir. Well done, sir. Once I have the value of v, once I have the value of u, nothing else matters because then magnification, the transverse magnification of formula can be put. Transverse magnification is v by u for a lens. Remember, for mirror it is minus v by u. Please remember, put the values, get the answer, and stay happy too. So, will it be a real image or a virtual image? Real image or a virtual image? Real image. Real, or a real image, sir. Magnification is positive. How it virtual, can virtual, sir? Virtual, sir. Please don't say this, sir. I get hurt, sir. Okay, this is a virtual image, and you can easily see. Look, look at look at the focal length. The focal length of the mirror is plus twenty. Then look at where the object is placed. It is at ten centimeters, so it is between focus and the optical center. The image would be virtual and it would be magnified. Do we understand? We have written all those points in that uh, that, uh, that, uh, that 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 diagrams. Do you remember this? Yes or no? Remember this? Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. Say it loudly, sir, so that I can hear that, sir. Okay. So that means right. once you get the value of that focal length. The rest of the thing is very simple. You just have to put the mirror uh, lens formula. Get Get the value of v or u or whatever, and then solve the question. So we'll move ahead and uh, solve one more on this category, and we will only solve the 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 focal length of this. So Fatafat, tell me the focal length of this, so that I can be rest assured that my kids now can calculate the focal length of any combination that comes. This is. Again, taken from your module itself. This is question number nine. I have forgotten which question was there, so I will call it question number one. Something, something, something is given. Let us see who gets the other, 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 other things. Combination of three different types of, uh, if you want to call them lenses, 
with different refractive indexes as you can see what is the focal length of this combination remember this cannot that the, 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 the question could have been something else they could have put an object here at some distance u once you get the focal length of the combination the rest of the question is simple yes or no huh once you get the focal length of the combination you can just put 1 by v minus 1 by u and you will get the rest of the things we understand this yes, yes sir. sir then find out the focal length of the combination sir 2 minutes sir Sir, F1, 5. F1? What is F1? 5. F1, 5. I want to know the, 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 the answer for the combination, my dear friend. And that even 5 is wrong. The combination, the answer is 5? Which answer is 5? There is no 5 as I can see in the answers. Shall I do it? I would be very sad if I have to do this. I would be sad. But my sadness doesn't matter if you can't do it. I, even if I'm sad, I have to do it. I will have to do it. Sir, 25. Hey, which answer 25? First one, this one. This is first. Okay, let me call this as first. So that the confusion will work. First, second, third. Yes, tell me. What answer are you getting? 25. Combination, sir. Combination, sir. 25, sir. The answer that I have, sir, is 100 by 13, sir. Okay, sir. So I think there is something wrong. Well, see, I must uh, tell you that uh, answers don't matter, first of all. What matters is that you are trying. <clears throat> Once you try, you understand what mistakes you are doing. Because if you don't try and you just copy the answer from the board, you will make the mistakes in the examination hall. And that time it cannot be pardoned, my dear friends. 
right now anything can be pardoned remember jee is not cleared in the examination all it is cleared right now right here this consider this question as part of your exam and then do it do it try it even if you don't get the right answer answers don't matter no answer don't matter don't matter what matters is that you are trying because then you will understand what you were doing correctly and what you need to improve on shall i do it for you or you want to try harder two minutes sir yes please try but i i can do it in one i can do it in 15 seconds but that will not serve any purpose the purpose is served when you do it you try it you sweat it out that is when the real purpose is served served it's not necessary that i do 15 questions in the class if i just do 3 and now i know which three to pick i know that i will be covering the entire thing and no question can come out of that important that you do it i'll give you 2 minutes don't worry i'm here Shall I do it for you, Bacha? No time. Two okay. minutes, sir. Okay. When to try? When to attempt a lot of questions? You will understand what problems you are facing. You will also make your own shortcuts. You will also make formulae which. when you look at them they look very difficult to 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 remember but when you use them they become easy and i'll use some of those सर वी गॉट हंड्रेड बाय ट्वेल्व थिंग आंसर इज हंड्रेड बाय थर्टीन बट आई डोंट ट्रस्ट बुक्स आंसर बिकॉज दे मे बी रॉन्ग आई ऑलवेज थिंक दैट वॉट एवर आंसर वी गेट 
is the correct one let me give uh, other students one minute more okay let everyone try sir once do sir let's wait for everyone don't worry i'll do it oh, i'll we have got 100 by 8 sir 100 by 8 someone is getting 100 by 12 someone is getting 100 by 8 no one is getting 100 by 13 which i think is the answer anyways now i think it is time has come for me to probably do it and what i am going to do i'm just going to do simple simple things f1 let us first find the focal length of f1 and i'm going to use what i know from what the first from one of the question that i had done what is the value of f1 i can straight away write the value of f1 how much i don't have to calculate it what is the value of f1 i don't have to calculate it i know it how do i know it that's a difference between you and me you don't study when you go back home you don't see what we have done in the previous class if you would have remembered this question would have been done very simply the value of f1 is 10 yes or no did you get it yes sir or no sir yes sir how did i how did i write it without calculating R by two into mu minus one, sir. No, sir. I also told you, sir. If mu is three by two, it will come same as radius of curvature. And I showed two questions on this problem with you people. I mean, all the students is that they don't remember things and they don't like to go back and uh, remember what they have done. And that is why for you, you are you have you need to clear J E. in the examination or you are not clearing it in the class because you are not attentive enough to do it in the class remember this question see the first question that we did i'm taking you back that far taking you back that far this was the question i told you straight away that it is f equal to plus 10 then i gave you one question which you did on your own my dear friends and you told me the answer is 10 sir and then the same question comes God save us. You're not clearing JE in the classroom. If you're not clearing JE in the classroom, then only God will save us in the examination hall. So we got answer hundred by thirteen. Chalo, thank God. I'm so happy. I'm not so happy with the answer. I'm happy that you are trying. So F one is ten. one thing done the second thing is this one is also 20 both the both the both the radius of curvature are same and the refractive index is 8 by 5 if you remember we devised the formula i don't know so i can write this f3 as r by 2 times mu minus 1 if both the surfaces are equal yes or no Now, how do I remember this? I really don't remember. I, I I forget the question number. But how do I remember? Because I've done four questions, so I remember it will be like this. Yes or no? I just remember it by the question. I don't remember the previous question number, but I remember that I had done a question which I had uh, which had the uh, uh, radius of curvature of ten, and I, I took you back to that question. So now I can calculate this uh, F three using this. Simpler one, I will get the answer quickly. What is the value of F three that is going to come? I think it is going to come as fifty by three. Yes or no? Then I will calculate the value of F two since both are different. So I'll just uh, use the formula. One by F will be equal to six by five minus one into the first surface. The radius of curvature is minus ten. Minus one by the second surface, 
the radius of curvature there is plus 20. I calculate this. What is the answer that I am getting here? For this, I think I am getting minus 3 by 100 or the focal length becomes 100 by minus 100 by 3. This is F2. Now what I need to do is 1 by F will be equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 plus 1 by F3. I think you know how to do this. I think what is the answer? 100 by 13 is coming correct. Yes or no? That is the answer finally. So what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is very simple. If you do one thing, remember it and then use it. Because you never know where it is going to be useful. Have you learned the lesson? Yes or no? Anyone understood this? Excuse me, sir. Yes, beta. Sir, can we solve this problem by using 1 by f is equals to mu 2 minus mu 1 by r1 plus mu 3 minus mu 2 by r2 formula? Can we solve this question? But if you solve this question by this, it is not mu1. It is mu1, mu2, mu3, mu4. The, for the, the uh, thing gets very complicated. See how many mediums are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, then again 1. Doesn't it become very complicated? Okay, sir. That's why you don't do it. Okay, that is formula is only uh, good when one side you have one medium and the other side you have other medium and then you only have one lens. That time it is good. It is not good here because it just gets too complicated. Do we understand this? Are we getting this? In fact, yes. if you look, we are doing the same thing in a different way. Just nothing else. We are doing the same thing in a different way. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Can I expect better results in the next one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember, practice is what that is going to make you perfect, my dear. The more you practice, the better are you going to be. And this comes a question from one of the previous exams. It has come in uh, JE as well. Best of luck. I hope no one looks at the sky. God is not going to come from there. The greatest miracle that God has created is you right now. I forgot the question number. No, no. This time I remember it. That was question number one. So this is now question number two. Shown in the figure is a convergent lens placed inside a cell filled with liquid. The lens has a focal length of plus 20 centimeter when placed in air. And its material has refractive index of 1.5, 3 by 2. If the liquid has a refractive index of 1.5, Six, you have to find the focal length of the system. The system consists of liquid, then lens, then liquid. Best of luck.
सर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर सर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर The answer is minus hundred T. Again, I don't trust answers of the book or what is given. I trust what my students get me. So, if you are saying minus twenty four, I will believe you. Don't worry. Let us see if the other students are getting the same answer. Let's see if they are also getting the same answer. Minus twenty four, anyone? Who is for minus twenty four? it could be the correct answer I, i i don't know i have not checked it i have not done this i only have the answer nothing else i have yes my dear friends students is minus 24 the answer my dear bacha yes or no no yes no one is saying anything that means i need to give more time two more minutes I think time has come for me to do this. Is that so? This question came in one of the Olympiads, as you can see. <clears throat> Shall I do it? No one got that answer of minus hundred or whatever. Shall I do it? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. <clears throat> the first thing is. Let me call. Uh, I can help you. Let me call this as number one. Let me call this as number two, and let me call this as number three. Yes or no? Okay. Now for number one, one of the surface is infinite. What is the radius of curvature of this surface, bacha? For the convex convex lens, what is the radius of curvature for that surface? You have to calculate it. Yes or no? Everyone sees this. I hope the question, the diagram is small. You can't see. Is that so? Can I have a bigger diagram for you, my dear friends? Your wish is my desire. Who is my command? Not necessary, sir. Are necessary, sir? No, sir. No one has given me the answer, sir. So it's necessary, sir. So I begun. I have shown you a bigger diagram of the same stuff. Now tell me, sir. <clears throat> Bigger thing, bigger. This is infinite. What about the radius of curvature of this surface, bacha? How much is that? If you don't know this, how you have calculated anything? You have, you could not calculate anything. It is twenty centimeters, dear, because the focal length. Is twenty centimeters. This is an EQ convex lens, and the refractive index is one point five. Same thing comes fifteen hundred times. Still, you can't remember it. May God save you, because only God can save you. You are not destined. You are hell bent on not saving yourself. Uh, did I tell you about that story of that sage and that uh, flood, flood and sage? 
Did I tell you that story? You are destined that, you know, God will come and save you. All of a sudden in the examination hall, God will come. Bram! I'm God and I'm here to save you out. Get into IIT, get into IIT, get into IIT. I'm God. This is not going to happen, my dear friend. This has never happened and not going to happen. So, I hope that better sense will prevail. Okay, let me find out the focal length of the first gentleman. How do I find the focal length of the first gentleman? 1 by F1. Tell me the formula. Yes. First lens. I hope you understand the first lens or shall I show you the bigger figure of that uh, lens as well? Minus one into ah, God is there, God is there. 1.6 minus one into. So <clears throat> we are solving this question and we were uh, finding out the focal length of the first combination, the first lens. The refractive index uh, is 1.6 as it is here, 1.6. So 1.6 minus one. And uh, the first surface, the first surface has the radius of curvature as infinity. So I'll write it as one by infinity minus the second surface is this, which has a radius of curvature of 20. Is it plus 20 or is it minus 20? It will be plus 20. So it will become 1 by 20. If I put the values here correctly, you should get, I think, 1 by F1. I will not calculate F1. I will calculate 1 by F1. You will get it as minus 3 by 100. Do we get this? Please raise your hands and let me know. And please make sure that uh, while you are talking to me, please talk in the language that I understand. Because if I don't understand a language, I don't understand it and I might uh, misinterpret it. Okay, <clears throat> this was 1 by F1. What about the focal length of the second lens, 1 by F2? Do I need to calculate it or it is already known? It was given that it has got focal length of 20 centimeters and whatever I do, the focal length will remain same. So I will just write it as 1 by 20. Do we understand this? Then I move on to the third one and I find 1 by F3. Now to find 1 by F3, I have to find the refractive index of this medium. The refractive index of this medium is also 1.6. So I write 1.6 minus 1. I look at the first surface. The first surface is a concave surface. Its radius of curvature is 20. It will be taken as minus 20. So minus 1 by 20 minus 1 by the second surface is a plane one this one this one 1 by infinity if i calculate this i think i will get 1 by f3 also as minus 3 by 100 are you getting the same answers 1 by f1 1 by f2 and 1 by f3 yes or no yes sir good so now, since you have got all the three, one by F1, one by F2, and one by F3, you can add these one by F1 plus one by F2 plus one by F3. You will get the value of one by F and you reverse it. You will get the value of the focal length. Can you now tell me what is the answer that you are getting? Are you getting minus 24, minus 80, plus 80, or are you getting minus 100? Which answer are you getting better? Which one? Minus 100, sir. Minus 100, sir. I think that is the correct answer and that is how it should be done. So, this type of concept is very simple. Once you understand that you have three lenses, in this case, if again I show you a breakaway picture, the breakaway picture uh, looks like this. I hope everyone got this the breakaway picture looks like this so what we have done here is broken the system into three lenses that is the breakaway picture we have broken this into three lenses 
this is lens number one one surface is infinite the other surface has radius of curvature of 20 this is lens number two we don't need to calculate anything about that because it is already given this is lens number three one of the surface is having refractive uh, has having radius of curvature as 20 the other one has it as infinity do we understand this everyone yes or no yes sir okay so this is how you have to do any question if it comes and i don't know why but i feel that this question can definitely come in the examination hall because these days they are giving question based on lenses and mirrors this year paper there were a lot of questions on this so please be very careful about this this says combination of lenses combination of lenses when they are placed in contact combination of lenses when they are set at a distance d apart what would be the next heading what would be the next heading any idea? What is the next heading? Combination of lens with mirrors. So you can write the Excuse next. Me, sir. Yes, beta. Sir, can't we use F by M by F M by F A is equals to refractive index? Length of refractive index of A minus 1 by length of refractive index of medium minus 1 formula. For which case you want to use that formula? In which? The fourth question. The fourth question, beta. The problem with that is they are not asking what is the focal length of this lens kept in medium. They are asking what is the focal length of this combination. They have created a combination of lens and then they are placing it in some other medium. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. The question is not the lens is in water. Find the focal length in water. The question is, I have a lens of glass and then I fill it a liquid on this side, fill a liquid on this side. And then I have this square shape or rectangular shape thing. What is the combination of this? What is the focal length of this combination? Did you did you read the question carefully? Yes, sir. See, I will highlight it for you. The focal length of the system is not the focal length of the lens kept in the water. This is the system that they have made. You have to find out the focal length of this system. Do we understand this? Yes, sir. Okay. That was the case. This was combination of lens with a lens you can combine lens with a mirror also <clears throat> so that is an exciting combination of lens with mirror what has happened here what has happened here why it's not moving forward okay combination of lens with a mirror something is not right here okay combination of a lens with a mirror that is the next heading that we shall write. Combination of lens with a mirror. Now, no matter whether it's a combination of lens with a mirror, whether it's a combination of lens with a lens, or whether it's a combination of two mirrors, whenever we have more than one reflection, more than one refraction, or a combination of reflection and refraction. And I think I have given you the formula before. If someone asks you to find out the total magnification of this combination, whether it's a combination of lenses, whether it's a combination of mirrors, or whether it's a combination of lenses plus mirrors put together, the formula for magnification, the total magnification, the total magnification comes from the height of the final image divided by the height of the object do we understand this the final answer will be like this height of the image divided by the height of the object now if you have all these 
all these mirrors in combination the height of the final image divided by the height of the final object so what will happen is one lens will produce one image that image will act as, act as an object for the second one that will produce the second image that second image will act as an object for the third one and so on so if i just multiply them we will get this formula the magnification the total magnification will be a multiplication of all these magnifications i guess someone asked me this doubt in some class that there are two mirrors and what was the magnification who asked it yes beta so now this is it if i did not tell you that before this is now i am telling you that again that a uh, total the total magnification of the combination is just a multiplication of all these magnifications do we understand it okay <clears throat> now having said that let us now move on to combination of a lens with a mirror now what will happen if i combine a lens and a mirror how does it effectively act as does it act as a lens or does it act as a mirror for example for example this is a combination and again i am taking uh, this from your uh, module itself from your module itself from your module itself this combination or for that matter again this combination or for that matter i'll take someone else as well from here let me take it from this one where i have a combination uh, the third combination is called by a very special name and we will use that name also let me get to that combination where it is here this combination this combination now there are three different types of combination that i have in all these combination everything is kept in contact with each other now all of these combinations do they act like a lens does this combination act like a lens or does this combination act like a mirror let me talk about this as a this as b and this as c three combination i am showing this third type of combination is known by a special name this is known as silvering of a lens this combination is known as silvering of a lens what it effectively means is one side of the lens has been silvered do we understand this this is the symbol that we had used for mirrors when we had polished one side we called it silvered not polished when we painted one side we call it silver that is silvering of the lens in other two cases the lens is not silver in other two cases i have one convex or two convex lenses and then i put another mirror together with it how does it act does this combination act like a mirror let us talk about the first one how does this combination act does this combination act like a mirror or does it act like a lens like a mirror it acts like a mirror so in case b in case b mirror sir in mirror. case c in all these cases it acts like a mirror so basically now we can find out if a question comes where they give you an object placed somewhere here and they ask you where is the image of this object found you just have to do one thing you have to find out the focal length of this combination the focal length of the combination that i have drawn here how do i get the focal length of the combination here how do i get the focal length of the combination here how do i find the focal length of the combination let me call let me call uh, this one as fl 
focal length of the lens and let me call this as fm focal length of the mirror how do i find the focal length of the combination this combination acts like a mirror please remember focal length of the combination 1 by f will be given by a formula and what is that formula 1 by fm minus 2 by fl 1 by fm minus 2 by fl why 2 by fl i don't understand this why 2 by fl why 2 by fl why 2 why this factor of 2 is coming anyone can tell me that why this factor of 2 is coming this factor of 2 is coming because if i take a ray of light it will be going through this lens it would be refracted once then it will be falling on this mirror it would be reflected twice it would be reflected once but then again it would be refracted so it will be refracted twice and reflected one time it would be refracted twice by the lens and reflected one time and therefore we have this two coming in the formula do we understand this yes or no yes sir the other way of remembering the same thing is you can write this uh, as 1 by f length uh, focal length of the mirror so i can write it as minus 1 by power yes or no oh not minus 1 by power i can write it as minus power of the mirror yes or no because power of a mirror is minus 1 by f yes or no yes sir 1 by fm is minus power of the mirror yes or no minus 1 by fl is the power of the lens so minus this is 2 times the power of the lens minus sign will get calcul uh, cut and i will have this formula power of the combination will be power of the mirror plus 2 times the power of the lens do we understand this how we have got this yes, yes. or no yes sir yes sir going on the similar lines what will be the focal length of this combination it will be equal to 1 by fm minus 2 into 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 yes or no yes sir so i can also write it like this power of this will be power of the mirror plus 2 times summation of pi got this if there are more than two lenses 3 or 4 or 5 you just add their powers yes so no no or yes yes yeah. do we understand this yes sir okay now let me call the power of this lens as f1 or fl let me call the power of this mirror as fm can you now tell me what will be the focal length of this combination this combination is known as the silvering of the lens here we have silvered a plano convex lens we can silver up eq convex lens we can silver a eq concave lens we can silver any lens what will be the focal length of the combination of the third one what will be the focal length of the combination of the third one no one shall i tell you so the answer would be 1 by f m by f is equals to 1 by f m minus 1 by f l again beta See, there will be twice refraction from the lens once while it is going inside twice when it is coming back so it will always be two times so all the formulas are exactly same do we understand this yes sir and this will again behave 
as a mirror do we understand this yes, yes sir or no yes sir okay with this we have come to an end of this class an eventful one uh we have covered a lot of things in this class we have covered the combination of lenses and mirror we have covered a lot of things only one or two things left to cover this part which i will be covering in the next class so by next class we will be doing we will be done with this uh, entire refraction stuff the only thing that will be left will be microscope and telescope and i'll try to cover them in one class because it's all about remembering the formula nothing else so refraction is almost done now only two or three points are pointers are left i will give you those point, uh, pointers we will solve some questions on this we are done with refraction and everything i hope in the next class if you have any doubt you can come up so that we can discuss those doubts as well this is done from my end and i have covered everything that was possible in this universe that could come in the examination or i covered everything not left every anything the only thing that is left is microscope and telescope and certain pointers which i will give to you in the next class meanwhile please keep trying the questions from the module from the sheets that i have given you and i hope that you keep studying and uh, i'll see you in the next class take care have a nice day god bless you all thank bye you bye. sir bye thank bye. you sir bye